So I've just left the harbour and I'm off for a few days. So I thought I would go to uh, maybe Wallace Island. And I thought uh, there won't be many boats there in the latter half of November. So I thought it might be a good spot to go sit and hide out for a couple days. Well, I made it to Princess Cove on Wallace Island. Super calm. I'm in uh, 28 feet of water. Holding's okay here. There's lots of stern ties, but uh, since there's only two boats in here, I'm just anchored out in the middle. Easier to do uh, that when you're by yourself. It was 13.8 uh, nautical miles to get here. I was able to sail for the first uh, little while, uh, but I was only three knots or less uh, with the amount of wind that there was. So I eventually uh, rolled up the head sail and motored the rest of the way. Didn't take too long to get here. And yeah, the sun's just about going down. I got here about 3.30. I rode around a bit, took a couple photos, and I'll probably just stay here all day tomorrow, uh, especially if it stays this quiet here and poke around a bit and maybe the next day I'll head home. Well, good morning from Princess Cove on Wallace Island. You might see some lines on the screen there. I broke my uh, lens today, so I'll see if it's just the uh, UV 
filter. I can't seem to get it off. So when it broke, it fell over in the dinghy. So when it broke, it probably jammed it on there. So I'll have to get a tool, a pipe wrench or something to try and get it off gently without breaking it more. Um, hopefully just a temporary uh, cheap fix. <laughs> and a super calm night. The wind is supposed to be a little out of the southeast today. And I just met a, there's another catch in the harbor here. And if you follow us for a long time, you know our last boat is called Moonshine. And our new boat is called Northern Dancer. And the boat in front of me is called uh, Moon Dancer. <laughs> so it's a combination of our old boat name and our new boat name, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And it's a Bill Garden design, uh, 41 feet uh, catch, fiberglass hull, teak on it, you know, similar to ours. So, and uh, yeah, kind of fun to see. Uh, the only two boats in the harbor are uh, two catches of sort of the same era. And uh, also it was built in Taiwan. Yeah, and it's just, uh, I don't even know what time it is, probably around 9 or 10 in the morning now. Um, but I will uh, go have some breakfast and I will uh, check in later. Hash browns were delicious. I just finished packing up the rest. I'll save them for dinner. And it's the sun's trying to come out, but it's not quite getting there. It's still probably only four or five degrees outside, I'm guessing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's nice and toasty warm in the in the cabin here. I just looked at the thermostat or my little thermometer, and uh, let me just see. I made it uh, 53 years before I needed glasses. <laughs> uh, so it says 18.3. Not sure if uh, you can see that, but that's what it is inside here right now, and 64% humidity. Uh, I was just cooking, so that's probably why it's up a little bit. Our stove is propane, and um, it uh, it's a moist fuel as you probably all know. So this is a work in progress. I think there's about eight coats on the sides and along the edge there, but 
and leaving the top uh, just oiled. Uh, anything that you could step on or sit on, I mean, that'll be slippery. And I kind of like the look of the uh, varnished trunk and the oiled top. So that's something I've been working on. The forward hatch I'm still working on. I think I've got maybe eight or nine coats, but I got to get up to 12. Same with the trunk here, up to 12. The brow is done. The forward grab rails uh, need a few more coats on both sides, but they're getting there. The butterfly hatch is done. I completely rebuilt it last winter. Uh, took it right apart, put all new windows in, uh, made up a better, what I think is a better design for the windows. They're all separate panes now. No screw holes going in them. All the cracks originated from screw holes in the uh, last windows. It's all like heavy plexiglass. And this is another piece that I did uh, varnish on the sides and no varnish on top because uh, you would slip right off that. And we're often standing on this. Uh, this is the companionway hatch uh, cover. We're often standing on here when we're getting our mainsail put away or, or hoisted, mostly when we're putting it away. And, oh, boom gallows. That's finished. I think there's about 15 coats on there. <laughs> and it's a nice uh, little spot here. In the summertime, this place is packed all along this side. There's stern tie rings. You won't be able to see them, but all the way down. And uh, it's just packed. Boat, 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 <laughs> all the way up. <laughs> so it's kind of nice just being in here with one other boat. And the dinghy dock over there. Um, I think I can't really see where it is on the screen. Anyways, I'm pointing at it. Um, that uh, gives you shore access, and nearly this whole island is a marine park. Nice day, November 20th. So we have two ways we can heat our hot water. Well, actually three ways. Uh, one way is just by running the engine. So every time we run our engine, uh, we have a, a heat coil that's part of the loop, part of the circuit for the coolant. It goes through a heat exchanger on the hot water tank. So that's one way we heat it. So I've still got some hot water. Not like super hot, but that's from motoring yesterday afternoon when I arrived. So it keeps it pretty good. But yeah, not not super warm now. It's really hot when you first arrive. And usually I'm a little bit more uh, careful with rationing, but going back to the marina soon. Um, yeah, so that's one way we heat the hot water. Another way we can heat it is if I'm running the S-Bar heater. I can throw two levers and I can add that into the... Uh, loop for the hydronic s-bar heating so if i'm running it i could just heat up the hot water it just it just includes it in the loop uh, so that's an option and then the third way of course is if we're um, on shore power and i can just throw the breaker and uh, heat it with a, an element so using shore power so there's three ways to heat the hot water um, well another way you could do it is just put some in a kettle and just have some hot water that way so we're usually moving enough and you don't have to wash this stuff in super hot water. Uh, for hot, for amount of water we carry, we carry 500 liters. We carry 240 liters in our forward tank. And then we carry another 260 liters in the aft tank. So it's nice to have lots of water. That's, uh, I think, more than double 
our capacity of our last boat. So that's nice to have that. And we did our two week trip to Desolation Sound. We did the entire trip on the forward tank. We never did, uh, we never did get to the aft tank. So, so that's um, nice to know. That was two weeks. So we can go probably a month, we figure, before we have to get water. Of course, if usually I dial that to a trickle. And, oh, and I installed this faucet last winter. The faucet that was here before was really low. It was like a laundry room faucet. And it uh, also had separate knobs, so it was really hard to regulate the right temperature. So like I said, when we first stop, the water's really hot. And then when we, uh, it, it takes a little while to cool down. So it's nice to have this one lever. I'm not sure if the camera really can see it, where it, uh, you can just pick what temperature you want and it mixes it. What else can I tell you about the galley? Oh, we put a new stove in last year. Can you see that way over there? I don't think I did an actual episode on it. I did one on our last boat. I did an episode on putting in the stove. And we really like this uh, Dickinson. We had the Caribbean model, which was a uh, two burner. And this one's the Mediterranean. It's the three burner. So basically the same stove, but three burners. You get a little bit more real estate on top for uh, larger pans by having that room for the extra burner. So, and we just didn't have the room on our last boat for that size of stove. So we're really happy we have the room on this boat. Yeah, I think that's all I can tell you about the galley. Oh, uh, we have a fridge and a freezer. So uh, can you see this side's the fridge, this side's the freezer. There's a, the compressor's down in the salon area, but it, the cold plate is in the freezer side. And there's holes in the wall that the, the cold air goes over to the fridge side. So that's, so there's no cold plate in the fridge side. It just, it's just residual cold. But we can keep this at level five, which keeps everything frozen solid and uh, on, on the freezer side. And we can be at anchor before solar. We could be at anchor for uh, three days running the freezer at that cold. So uh, we're very excited to see this summer. Well, I think we can go all summer without having to worry about when to move. Especially if I get more, a couple more panels. So that's definitely on the uh, the work list, <laughs> the list that never ends. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stay here the night. <laughs> I've decided. So uh, thir 14. Just, just under 14 miles to get home, so that would be a nice little run to get back to the marina tomorrow. And just oh, a couple more dishes. Well, good morning from Princess Cove on Wallace Island. another super calm night and uh, super calm morning. And I'm going to head back home today. So just uh, a couple days on the hook. It was nice to get away and uh, just go somewhere peaceful and quiet. It's about three hours I'll give myself to get back to the marina. But I uh, should get back to the boat and have some breakfast, pull the anchor and head on my way. It's supposed to rain this afternoon so that's why I'm going to try to leave uh, this morning, get back before the rain starts.
Well, I'm getting <laughs> closer to Ladysmith. I just uh, motored out of Princess Cove and got around uh, through Houston Passage. And then when I got into uh, the, the last run back up to Ladysmith, uh, the wind was coming a little bit out of the south. So I thought, uh, why not roll out just the headsail? It's not that far of a run, so um, I'm doing about three, three and a half knots, which is just comfortable, just nice. It's right on the back uh, quarter, so uh, a downwind uh, run. And our head sail's pretty big, so she catches a lot of air. Three and a half knots is good for me. Uh, it's not as fast as I motor, but I'm not in a big hurry. And uh, yeah, I'll be at the marina probably in the next hour or so. And then we'll, we'll see what happens next.